uh, good morning guys uh, another day another adventure I'm just gonna head out uh, based on the availability of uh, donuts so we'll see if you're going to do uh, off-road or on-road that's the plan okay uh, that's where we are hope you guys uh, saw the uh, off-road video last time that was a good uh, ride on uh, Fortune Bend it was uh, fantastic there the scenery was beautiful and uh, uh, today I thought I will uh, have a, another off-road uh, uh, area which I want to explore so uh, let's take this uh, beautiful curve here Okay, uh, I will uh, catch you guys up a little later when we decide which route we want to take. Okay, uh, I the donut shop was closed as usual, I think, but it's it's open only Tuesday through Saturday. So, uh, but anyway, I decided uh, we'll do the off-road route. So I'm going to head out to a pin which I dropped where the off-road uh, starts at. so that's the plan okay I'm coming to uh, Barden Chapel Road and that's where I want to make a left I saw another road Haskell Road and that was pretty cool too but uh, let's see how this shapes up and then uh, oh, we will uh, come back on Haskell Road maybe another day Continue on Barden Chapel Road for six miles. Okay, let's see how that goes. Seems interesting. I see some hills here, so I'm hoping we're gonna go up those hills. That's why I picked this up. Uh, I saw on the terrain and it looked pretty cool. And uh, there were a bunch of hills between this and the other uh, road. So I said, okay, you know what? We gotta cross these hills here. So let's see how it goes. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Windmills and stuff. Awesome. I'm not sure if you guys can see on the uh, camera. pretty cool it doesn't look like this uh, road has traveled too much a bit of uphill here as I said the last time uh, you know I noticed that I was still putting too much pressure on my hands because my body is not over the handlebar my face at least so I try to move a little bit in front so that the pressure on the handlebars is less uh, through them it'll be fun if we go over and up over and down too okay it's getting a little squirrely here nice oh in the rainy season it might have some water here oh gorgeous
Only thing is in the shadow I can't see the road much. Get some airflow. Oh, squirrel buddy. What are you eating out there? Oh, a nice bridge. A little bit of an uphill here. Oh, we're going up the hill. Oh, it's going up the hill. Nice. Oh, we just close the windmills now. It's just gorgeous. Still climbing. I don't know what the view is going to be on the other side, so maybe next time we'll just come around here from the other side and see how it is. Oh, it's still climbing. It's a constant climb. This road is going right up the hill. Oh, there's a house right on top of the hill there. This is Kinder Mountain Road. That probably takes it right to the house there. Deer! <laughs> Deer running across. How many? Quite a few of them. I better slow down here. I will get bumped by one of those guys. It disappeared. Oh, the broken windmill. I bet there's a road to reach those guys there. Just need to find that road. Oh, somebody's doing some running here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, he says no right in here. Oh, okay. I guess he doesn't like the noise. It's a beautiful road here. I can't blame him. What? Why break the stillness of the nature here? You're right in the middle of the hills, so that's why you can't see. You're actually at an altitude here. I was debating whether to wear my other shoes and I got lazy but I should have worn it because the other day after my off-road I went home and uh, it was hurting. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay, I can see the view now. Now you're at the top of the hill. Now you're going to start going down I think. Beautiful area here, right? Nestled between uh, the Highway 4 and Highway 1197. Uh, you'll see me uh, now. Once I uh, head on to Rock Creek Road, I will hit 1197. Then I'm going to take the back roads back to Grayford. No, actually, uh, to Graham. Oh, there's another road here. What was that? I don't know. Maybe that was the Haskell Road going the other side. In 1,000 feet, your destination will be on the left. Yeah, that was the your uh, destination is on the road. left. Now I just go to Rock Creek here. This might be a little more travel road. 
Yeah, it looks like uh, this uh, this part of the road has traveled a little bit more. It seems that uh, the road seems to be well paved. But the scenery is gorgeous on this side too. Yep. It's whirly. Again, climbing up the hill some more. Wow, the view is gorgeous here. Yeah. is gorgeous I'm not sure if my volume is uh, high or not but uh, it is fantastic out here good to know all these roads they can come over whenever we need some practice on any of these gravel roads but uh, it's nice to just head on over out or even for a couple of hours you don't have to drive forever to get out of the city uh, it's getting a little squirrely out here better to slow the pace down a little bit oh there's some squirrely bits on the other side I guess I can choose my line to go more squirrely if needed Just to practice some squirrely driving. Ooh. <laughs> As I need to air down a little bit. Okay, there are some squirrely birds here if you want to really check it out. Whoa, man. Oop. I think I'll stay to the more travel side. But yes, you know, there are the squirrely birds right here. The gravel gets pushed over so you can you know see how much you want to go based on uh, how much your uh, uh, adventure is about <laughs> okay we're going up the hill it certainly helps if you air down on these squirrely birds uh, that's what I've noticed like on the right hand side I can see some squirrely birds right here I guess I go a little bit on that side I don't want to get into trouble <laughs> but eventually yes I'm going to be challenging myself to light here a little bit of a squirrely bit but uh, I can see my uh, handlebars uh, moving around so I just try to Tighten my leg. The problem is when you get uh, into those squirrely birds in a hurry when you're going fast, that's when you get into trouble. Like, for example, you see here on the turn, there was some squirrely birds I didn't have time to adjust. So that's why you got to be a little careful about, I guess. Oh, beautiful. Oh, just coming down the hill here. Wow, look at this. Gorgeous. Most of these, uh, that place was the valley between those two hills, I think. It's a deep gravel, it looks like handled like sand, based on uh, how much uh, <coughs> gravel there is and how was the thickness of the gravel. Uh, see, these are all pretty spread out, so there's nothing here. Creek. In 800 feet, Creek. turn right onto farm to market 1191 North. That's the Rock Creek. Well, we right reached here. Take the next right onto farm to market 1191 North, then your destination will be on the left. That's what I want to check out. Oh, oh yeah, gotta go left.
continue on farm to market 1191 south for two miles. So I'm gonna hit a road called Finnish Road. Thing. So this is the Finnish Road. Your destination is on the left. So let's I don't know where this one. This will take me straight to Graham actually. That's interesting. Let's see how this goes. This should be a little bit more uh, used road. But uh, let's see how that goes. At least the scenery is going to be gorgeous because when you when I go on that uh, 16 route, you know this side I see just mountains and stuff. So hopefully uh, this will take me to some good roads here. How oh, that people going? Yep, uh, let the dust settle down too, I think. Yep, the trick is uh, the more it gets uh, squirrely, the tighter you got to be on your legs and looser on your hands. Oh, probably coming over from his house to his ranch. <laughs> oh, this is his house, maybe. Looks like a barn. It's quite gorgeous. I always used to think, oh man, it'll be great living here in a big acreage and everything. Man, but it's a lot of work. <laughs> I bet it's a lot of work. I don't think I'm ready for that kind of stuff. Beautiful again. Gorgeous. Ah, looks like uh, the road's coming to an end here. Okay, uh, hopefully uh, you like this uh, video. I think I'll stop it right here. Now it's just a matter of uh, heading over to Graham, uh, picking up a donut and heading back home. Uh, I will uh, talk to you guys later then. See you in the next video.